Alright, so what is going on everybody? On YouTube, it's your boy Rod, man. This is my first time filming an actual, like, video in years, and it's been a while. Yeah, I'm bringing you guys a different little video today. Quick little update on life. I no longer live in California. I moved to Arizona. Finally free when it comes to cars, guns, all that shit. Um, if you guys have been keeping up with my shorts, as you guys see, and if you guys have, I've been into guns, man. I've been in, getting into guns, got into guns a couple years ago. Just been kind of doing that. Uh, clothes, as you guys can see, still kind of like, you know, going on. Cars. Eh, it's a little iffy, but yeah, I finally had some time decided to just you know Bring you guys kind of the new stuff that I've been picking up since I got here nowhere near like the Actual full amount of guns. I have if you guys want like a safe tour and like actual gun collection uh, Drop it down in the comments. I'm gonna start this off real quick with the uh, first gun I bought when I moved here you guys probably wouldn't expect it But being from California, it is obviously, you know, you can't have these but I bought my first AR pistol I do have the 30 round Amen 2 mag with the green tip 5.56 Gun is safe and unloaded. Yeah, I just put the BCM foregrip on it with the hollow sun 403B nice little fucking Backpack gun and whatnot, but it is a Radical Firearms 5.56 ARP. It is a seven and a half inch barrel. Like I'm saying, it came with a little brace. Aside from that, it's pretty much stock. I do want to change it to suppress it eventually now that I can. First pickup I did. Second pickup was, and all these guns, by the way, have been cleared and, you know, are safe. But my second pickup, I will try to do B-roll with all of these, get you guys some better views. But second gun was a Walther PDP and the four and a half inch, four and a half inch barrel, Surefire X300 turbo on it. And it is optic ready as well. You know, pretty much stock. I do have a holster on the way for this. So that way I can start carrying it with a nice little um, slide release, nice and long. So you don't have to move your hands too much. And as well as the Surefire. Next one I bought after that, I've never got myself into, uh, CZs until I saw one of my boys on Instagram uh, post his kind of convinced me to get one and this is a CZ P10C comes optic ready like I said all these guns have been cleared yeah threw a surefire x300 on it yeah essentially after that it's pretty much stock I do have a red dot that I want to throw onto it I just need to find a plate and yeah like I said surefire x300 on it first CZ I uh, next up definitely excited for this one this is a six sour p365 x macro um, it is not the compensated version it is just the normal uh, 3.7 inch barrel 17 round mag capacity can't go wrong and as well as it is optic ready really really like this gun i have a holster for this one on the way i have a holster for the cz on the way as well i just need to buy the streamlight tlr7a that i'm going to be throwing onto this so that way it fits the holster really nice gun really really like it can't complain at all six hour you know what it is it's really nice i've shot it a couple times shoots pretty damn accurate honest next up is probably one that I was not expecting to buy, but now that I have it, I absolutely love it. If you guys know about guns, you guys probably know what this is. I've seen it before. This is an HK MP5. Let me make sure it's so you guys it's clear. Max out, chamber's empty. But yeah, this is an HK MP5. It is chambered though in 22 long rifle. Honestly, the only reason I got this is because a lot of my guns, especially when it comes to rifles, are in 5.56 or 9mm so i wanted something that's you know cheap to shoot because i have a ton of 22 long rifle and something that just look cool like this shit looks cool as hell do want to put the little collapsible or the the brace on the back it does come with threaded barrel as well yeah definitely want to get a suppressor for it eventually honestly really really like it i just wish like i said i had the the brace to kind of just put it on my shoulder and aim but for now it'll do really really nice triggers decent you know it does thing but yeah hk mp5 looks so nice with the mag i've definitely had this as the passenger princess a couple times in the car and then the newest pickup that i do have that i just got recently it's this beautiful beretta 9211 or 92 xi whatever you want to call it two-tone you got the silver 
on the slide. I do have a snap cap in here because I was messing with it earlier. But what I do like about it is, the one thing I do like about it is that it's a single action hammer fire. And as you guys can see, this one has a wall before it. the hammer goes down. Really, really like it. Really, really dope. I can't wait to put a Surefire X300 on here. Also looking at the the lock grips or the lock grips for this gun right here. Kind of want to do the matching on top with like the silver and black uh, lock grips. Yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Just a quick little little rundown on the newest pickups. Uh, let me know if you guys want to want me to do a video on my my more regular uh, EDC guns. What I carry, how I carry it, uh, what belts I use, what holsters I use. Definitely down to do that. If you guys want a safe tour, like I said earlier in the video, drop a comment down below. Let me know any suggestions, any ideas. But yeah, with that being said, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and thank you guys for watching.